The reservoirs are getting much needed rainfall as the tropical wave and the intertropical convergence zone are nearby. We continue to see some of those showers, some of them turning heavy and thundery as we go through the day. There's yet another tropical wave set to come by, possibly late on Wednesday, likely bring some showers therefore. And then as we go through Thursday, the possibility of us getting some drier weather. But unfortunately still, across the Tuesday and Wednesday, we are looking for those spells of rain, some of those showers, and a couple of those thunder showers that well could well turn a gusty as well. Definitely looking for the possibility of uh, windy conditions along uh, Roxburgh and down to Scarborough, into Canaan as well. Most of uh, those winds will likely begin to have those palms swaying, so be mindful about that. And also there's a possibility of uh, landslips as we go through the northern range and into the main ridge Tobago. The uh, continual rainfall added to 50 millimetres in parts of eastern Trinidad, 70 millimetres across Piaco. We could be seeing similar numbers as we go through Tuesday, especially in eastern areas. So for Valencia, Arima, down towards uh, Beach, and definitely down towards Maruga and Guaragrari, we'll continue to see spells of rain and uh, some of those showers that will come by could turn a thunder, especially along the central and uh, southern hills. So be mindful about that, the possibility of street or flash flooding around and also the possibility of landslips. The rainfall will likely continue, possibly for the late part of Tuesday, and then eventually clear on Wednesday. Continue to see a lot more sunshine coming through on Thursday, and then right behind it on Friday, looking for a lot of Saharan dust for both Trinidad and Tobago. So the atmosphere should begin to dry out by the latter half of this week, and we'll continue to see some of that Saharan dust making its way across the Eastern Caribbean Friday, Saturday, and possibly Sunday. Now heading offshore, those strong east northeasterly winds of 20 knots to just to 25, looking at the possibility of uh, white caps and choppier seas out in the Atlantic. They're closer to 3 meters, but more like 2 or 2.5 meters through the Caribbean, with short east northeasterly swells of 8 seconds. And if you are heading out, definitely bear that in mind. With a near full moon, you could be seeing the tides higher than usual. So that's weather, and that's it for me.